something that you see a lot is people kind of saying that because someone is vegan and they have this mentality, that means that they also need to be against certain types of, let's say, injustices. Let, let's just mm-hmm. grant that for the sake of discussion um, mm-hmm. when it comes to humans, because since we're mm-hmm. also animals, it would kind of apply, you know, the human issues. Basically, some people say there's there's a big controversy around this where some people say mm-hmm. that human rights is a vegan issue, whereas other mm-hmm. people, other vegans will say that, no, veganism is about non-human animals. It's mm-hmm, for them. Mm-hmm. It's a movement for them. It belongs to them. Mm-hmm. And it's fine to be a human rights mm-hmm. activist as well, but that we shouldn't make it a mm-hmm. vegan thing. We shouldn't make veganism mm-hmm. about anything other than what humans are doing to mm-hmm. the other species. I'm wondering um, what your thoughts are on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. I saw a lot of uh, fight basically against so-called intersectional vegans, yes, until the point that uh, this word started being used as a, a kind of slur. This word doesn't exist in Poland. So uh, Polish vegans don't, fortunately, we don't have this dilemma. We don't have this, we don't have this word. We don't have this dilemma, but we have some divisions, uh, maybe different kinds. So I think like we have some divisions between welfareist and uh, abolitionist. Abolition, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, we have some other divisions like the people are sensitive with a certain topic which relates to them. For example, we had a huge struggle for because abortion was banned over last year, so mm. there was a lot of struggle in Poland around the abortion topic. So uh, people were divided uh, between two groups of pro life and pro choice. So we could see this uh, fight also among vegans. That, for example, if some vegans were like strongly pro choice, usually they are pro choice because usually they are lefties. So <clears throat> they kind of hated even vegans who were like, I don't care. I don't care, you know. So they they thought that everybody should fight for this topic, yes. So we had some topics. There are topics which polarize society. Yeah. Uh, so we never had this like all together, like all groups together, liberate all groups because we don't have. It. First of all, we don't have racism in Poland, basically speaking, generally speaking, we don't have uh, most of these issues. We don't have some people. Wokeists are trying to import those problems. So I hate it. I, I, I might say, hey, stop, we are in Poland. We didn't have like slavery of black people. We didn't, we have never oppressed black people. Why you start talking in this way in Poland? Yes. We must uh, accept that each of us, each vegan has different background. So we cannot apply one's expectation on what another vegan should be, should fight for, because uh, for example, I think there are horrible, uh, absolutely artificial divisions in English zone, yes? You're fighting about this. I hate this division among intersectionals and non-intersectionals. This is artificial. It doesn't exist in Poland. It's it's crazy. Why they cannot accept that, okay, maybe somebody before he went vegan, maybe he was already leftist. Maybe before he went vegan, he already was engaged with LGBTQ community or something. And it is still important for this person. Yes. So we should accept that. Okay. For this person, this is important. So for me, for example, if I have an autistic uh, child, yeah, I care about mentally disabled or sick people. I even work as occupational therapist. So I have contact, I work with those people. So this is something close to my heart. So maybe sometimes I will shoot a video about this. And I don't want that somebody will come and call me intersectional in the manner as a slur. So so I am not allowed to talk about uh, things which I am even professionally work with. Uh, or I'm not allowed to talk about topics that I'm familiar with because, you know, for somebody it is uh, already intersectionalism. I hate those. Uh, wait, I will maybe move again somewhere else. I have a problem where to go because there are too many people here. Too mm, many I people, understand. too many cages, too many everything, too much everything in my house. So I, I don't have, I don't have space. 
So it sounds like so what you're I, saying is different people kind of care about different things. Yes, and, and... yes, this is natural because they are different people with different background, different history. Maybe somebody, for example, suffered from some disabilities themselves, so they know this and they care about it. So how, you know, the vegan even dare to judge somebody that he cares about some issue? But also the opposite way. For I saw on Vegan Society website claim that vegans yeah should be intersectional. So also the opposite way. I oppose because intersectionality for me is a kind of uh, a lens, lens that you wear, put on to see the world, the reality in a different perspective. This is not my perspective. I don't support this perspective because this is focused on oppression. So look, I have an autistic child and he's already grown and uh, he suffered in his past uh, he was bullied at the in school yes by other kids he was bullied and i have always taught him to be responsible himself for his own experience so i said that you are autistic it doesn't mean that you cannot live a decent life a good life uh, be aware of your limits limitations but you also have talents he has talents you must focus on your talents you must develop your talents you must think about what you can do in your life you must think what is uh, possible for you you must try to live like as normal and good life as possible and I was teaching my son that there is not no such a thing as oppression, that he himself he is responsible for quality of his life. And I was teaching my child that if somebody is bullying him, this is the problem of this person. So I taught him to look at his oppressors like they have problems. Maybe they suffered some trauma. It's their own problem. So I taught him never uh, to be attached to somebody's treatment. He learned how to like reflect in direction to the like the oppressor size. If he uh, if he is called with uh, um, very rude words like "oh you retarded" or something, so I taught him just look at this person and think what he experienced in his life that he is now saying such things. So if I taught my child not to believe in oppression, to be responsible for the quality of his own experience, so. I don't give the right to force me to wear somebody else's lenses to look at reality. No, I have my own definition of reality, my own experience. Of course, there are things that I care. So I don't know why I shouldn't talk about things that are important for me. I see the genocide. I react. I talk about it. But not because I am. Uh, I have some certain lenses that I... Uh, I am declared fighter against oppression. No, it's uh, like natural uh, reaction. And there is um, also another thing. I tell you, I really hate those artificial aggressive divisions among vegans in Western society. In, we, fortunately, we don't have this uh, in Poland until this degree. We don't have even, we don't even have this vocabulary. I am so happy about it. This was part of Life with Has, which took place on Has Vegan channel on Monday. You can see the whole conversation on his channel. We have covered several topics. I hope some of them are important and I will re-upload some parts of this conversation here. Please check Has Vegan channel and you can watch the whole conversation today. Thank you very much. See you next time.